Uh, it became very difficult on an everyday basis to remember to do this without, you know, without it being a little more than anybody wanted to hear about. Um, so I created some products that sort of, as you can see, yeah. will identify a child by their specific allergies. Um, the lunch bag, um, this one was made for a child who's egg, peanut, and tree nut allergic. Um, the backpack as well, I don't know if you can see the, the top the of the top backpack. So do you order these custom based on your child's allergy? Right, everything, these products are customized for whatever your child's allergies are or whatever combinations. We also address celiac disease. We'll make um, one that says gluten allergy, which will prevent an exposure to gluten for those children. Um, but it's just an easy way for parents and caregivers or teachers to communicate. Um, and it's you know, obviously very clear and very easy to remember in, in this situation. Right, when the child comes to school or, or, or to a playtime, right, you can't miss one it. of these, you don't right, have it's hard to, to worry. miss. Right, they exactly. And um, the other thing I did was <clears throat> they, um, they, they recommend that you put an ID bracelet on your child. And the ones that I found were metal, metal bracelets, which I wasn't going to put on my one-year-old child. It wasn't safe for him. It wasn't safe for the kids he was playing with. So I was looking for something different, which I couldn't find. So I had um, these, as you can see, very small um, bracelets made that will identify a child by his or her specific food allergy. This is an even smaller version. Um, Based so, on the age of the child or the size of the, their exactly. wrist. Exactly. And, and would a child maybe wear, <clears throat> wear more than one of this, these uh, wristbands if they have more than one yes. allergy? Yes. My son wears two. I know some children who are wearing at most three. We're working on one that will address multiple food allergies so that children who have you know, more than two or three allergies can also be identified and, and it will be an easy reminder for the people who are taking care of them. And you brought your son's bag. Yes. Which has some interesting things in it. We'll pull that apart and right. show people what... what uh, this is the travel parents. pack, okay. and it's an easy way for me to carry um, my son's two EpiPens. Um, in it, we also have you used know, in case of emergency. Right, right. This is the uh, emergency treatment for an anaphylactic reaction, which is when an airway closes um, as a result of exposure to a food allergen. <laughs> um, so we have those. I um, always keep a safe snack in here, also for my son. And there's Benadryl and the emergency card, also, which on one side has um, the plan of action for. In a, for an allergic reaction, the steps that need to be taken and what medication needs to be administered. And the other side is emergency information and contact information. And this goes with my son wherever he is, when he's um, with, even with my parents, on a play date, wherever he goes where I'm not with him, whoever's with him has this. Um, and it's everything that they'll need. It's good information. And yeah. you know, we have a couple of questions from our audience mm -hmm. members. Uh, this one's from uh, Maria Antonio in Philadelphia. Uh, what are the symptoms in children ages 12 and up who are lactose intolerant? Well, there's a difference between an intolerance and a food allergy. An intolerance typically, typically manifests itself in gastrointestinal symptoms. Um, a food allergy can have those symptoms as well, but food allergies um, are hives, can range from hives to anaphylaxis and death. So there's a wide, much wider range in uh, reactions for food allergies as opposed to intolerances. Um, but if you think your child might have a food intolerance, um, the best thing is to go to your doctor and get a diagnosis. And where are these products available? On allergicid.com, www.allergic with a K, id.com. Great. Thank, Thank you. you so much. We'll have a much. link on our website to your website. That'd be great. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Good, you. good information. Thanks, so much. Thanks, Thanks for having we'll me. Right back We're cooking after the break. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> the 10 show crew gets around in style in this BMW X5. Thanks to D. Simone BMW in Marlton, New Jersey. Welcome back to Safe Auto Insurance Company, where representatives are standing by. Today we're asking callers to tell us why they've chosen Safe Auto. Let's see who's on the line. This is Eleanor from Terre Haute. I've been on Safe Auto for two years, and my bills get lower every term. That's great. Who's next? It's Jason from Pittsburgh. My friend lost his license driving uninsured. Not me. Safe Auto set me up in ten minutes. There you have it. Remember, representatives are standing by. So call now for immediate coverage. 1-800-SAFE-AUTO. We keep you legal. For less. Play it safe. Safe Auto. Watch out! That hot dish can slip, causing a big mess. You need the UvGlove. Now with non-slip silicone grips for great protection and control from the oven to the stove. It's made from the same flame-resistant material used by firefighters. Nomex and Kevlar by DuPont. This tough material resists intense heat up to 540 degrees. The UvGlove is perfect for the barbecue or hot jobs around the house, even arranging logs in the fireplace. The UvGlove. Now with non-slip silicone grips. Available at Target, Boscov's, CVS, and Kitchen Capers. Thank <laughs> you.